And there's several different methods of letting students know which learning outcomes particular content is addressing in Blackboard. Um, a typical way that we do it is list the assignments on the syllabus and put the learning outcomes next to each assignment. Another way that some people do it is to tie them to each module. And then another way that some people do it is to list them in the module overview. All right, any way that we choose um, is fine to give students a heads up about what learning outcomes they are covering with each piece of the course. Um, however, if you want to run a report on how well students are addressing um, or have mastered certain learning outcomes, then you need to tie the learning outcomes to assessments. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Right now I'm going to show you how to run the report if you already have learning outcomes tied to assessments. So I'm going to go into another course where I have some um, learning outcomes set up. And I'm going to go over to my course tools and I'm going to choose goal performance. All right, and this brings up the class roster and then I click on any student's name and here I can see that uh, Martha is doing so-so on these outcomes that I've tracked so far. And so I have three outcomes that I'm tracking. Um, each one is tied to one assessment. I can click here to see which assessment it is and then I can hover over here to see how well she did on that assessment that is addressing that outcome. And so um, Martha might need another assignment that tests this before the final exam um, so that she's better prepared for the, the final exam. So to set this up, I go into a course where I have not yet set up goals. And I'm going to add alignments. And I'm just picking a folder right now just to set them up, just to set up the goals because they haven't been set up for this class yet. And so this is going to um, give me all of the state standards to choose from. And so I'm going to click on state standards. And then I'm going to open goal set and look for English. And then for category, I'm going to choose this particular class. All right, and then for this folder, I can go ahead and choose the learning outcomes that I want students to see. If I don't want students to see it, I just turn them off. All right, so then to tie it to an assignment, I go to that assignment. I go to Add Alignments, and all right, there's a delay here. If I had waited five minutes, then my English ones would have popped up automatically. I didn't wait long enough for it to actually take effect, so I'm going to have to pick them again. So this assessment is now measuring two learning outcomes. And so then I can go over to Course Tools, click on Goal Performance, 
I can click on any student's name. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and I can see based on this one assessment that I've set up so far what their um, outcome is on these goals. All right, if I want them to be able to see how well they're doing on the learning outcomes, then I can go up here to Tools. I can choose More Tools. I can choose Goal Performance. All I do is click Submit, or I can rename it if I want it to be something that they would recognize a little better. And I haven't actually taken this assessment as a student, so in Student Preview Mode, let's just see what happens when I click on Goal Performance. Oh, I was wrong. I guess I did take the assessment, and I made an 88. So I'm doing all right on those two goals. Um, so that's just a little bit more in-depth use of the goals as the state standards are set up in Blackboard for you to use to track student performance.